Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro League. Of course, Season 3, Day Number 2. We're at the final game of the day. It's up to gaming versus ISO. ISO 1-0 up. And we're heading over to a Search and Destroy Biolab, Matt. And if ISO somehow steal this... And now that's kind of what I was talking about before. I mean, they take game number one and two on their own host. They're just kind of waiting for that game five at this point. I mean, could they steal an uplink? I mean, it depends on the map. It's not be honest, crazy to think. What map was it? I actually I'm, didn't see. I'm not sure. I, I didn't see the map either, actually. Um, see if we can find that out, though. But if I so do steal this. Oh, Llama God just friendly fired on Silly. That's not good. Able to clean up the kill. Plus the 1v1. Dito versus Karma. And Dito, going to win that one. So nice play from him. Dito with a nice pre-fire there through purple. It's going to be ISO taking this first round here, even with some mistakes. And now, I thought that this ISO team, they would struggle against some of the top tier teams, but against Optic Gaming, although was their host, map number one, mm -hmm. proven to be pretty strong. Next map, uplink comeback. Ooh, that's tough. Mm. Hold on. See, that, that's interesting. That, that kind of makes sense why Optic wanted to host that one. And the next map after that would be a Detroit hot point. Which makes sense. I think Optic's kind of just banking on if they get one of the first two maps, I mean, they take the two on their host, and then that's game. And it's a Skyrise SMD. To end things. Dude, that's a little... That's we a little saw fluke. ISO play that the other day. Did they look good? Oh, they lost, right? 6-5? Did they win that one? Uh, no, it's it was worth it. No, they ended up losing that one, I think. Yeah. Crimp. 1B something. And we'll tie. 1-1. One, one. Yep. I think Abel will pick this one up. I think it was, yeah, 1v1 for Crimp. Nice play from him. 2 1v1s so. to decide the first two rounds. I feel like this is going to be a pretty close s and Feeling, uh, you know, obviously it's Scum's birthday. Late night match. Maybe just pressing a little bit too much, trying to get it done. When... And maybe just trying to do some things you normally don't do. Yeah, I was thinking about that before. You know, just how kind of antsy are they going to be playing? You know, with Scump obviously wanting to go do other things. I'm surprised to honestly see him play. Thought he may take the day off for his birthday. Maybe I'll take play with one of their subs, but more than happy to play the game. Kind of funny, actually. Crim in his stream had at the top. <laughs> yes, Scump is playing in the League games. <laughs> That's one of his little uh, titles. Obviously, a very big question today through a lot of the fans' eyes. Scump, no, on your screen. I'm waiting to see what he's going to do. Meanwhile, Llama got, of course, with that bomb. This has been hanging out mid. He's going to spot one in ice, call that out to his teammates, and now they start their push. Iso looking to pick up the first kill. Silly able to do so on formal. Uh, Llama got immediately springs onto that bomb site, trying to get the plan down. They have such good teamwork, this Iso squad. They're not the most skilled team, which I think they would probably admit to, but. They have great teamwork, able to make things work. Crim, last one alive here. They Havoc have up match. top. Yep, Crim trying to work on the outside of purple, and he's going to get to cut down. Iso going to take this round. Put themselves in the lead 2-1. Good start for Iso. Just trading a couple of rounds. Nice play from Dito. Cleans up the kill. Looking at, let's go with Krim. He's been left last alive three times in a row. It's three and two, top of the team. Let's see what he's gonna be up to. Picks up the bump. And it looks like Optic gonna head over towards the A side. Uh, Krim with an ambitious nade. See if he connects. First one didn't, neither did the second one. But now the fight for this A bomb site continues. Yeah, it's gonna be Krim trying to put some shots down. Around the A bomb site on a player up top blue. You see everybody from ISO stacking over towards A. Optic may have to start thinking about rotating this up. I mean, they've left one player in the form of Karma to watch that flank and to see if anyone is making any plays on the map, but he's pushing up towards A side, so it seems like they just want to try and strong out their, their way through. Krim picks up one, so they replies with a snipe on him. Let's cancel, he spot another player. Oh, that inconvenient timing. He's going to go check B. There's no one going to be over there, silly. Bomb carrier now decides to back off. That's going to be formal. And I'm more than happy to just kind of take the time here. 30 seconds to play with. Do you reckon they maybe double back and go back towards A here, Matt? Or what's the game plan? Mm, you know, it looks like that's what they're going to try and do. 
This is going to be one player. Four ISO just coming around outskirts. He's going to put some shots down. Now back up. You're off the You're fully committed to this A site. You got to make something happen here quick. Yeah, shots going down. Bomb needs to be planted, though. And uh, Formal just needs to get on it. He has. He's last man alive, and he will die. ISO played that so well. They anticipated that double back perfectly. Well, Optic just took a ton of time, Ben. I mean, you look at it. Once they start to make their moves. Oh, he got a three piece. Yeah, that was pretty sick. <laughs> that was uh, sick. No, 14 seconds left. Formal finally gets on bomb, tries to plant. Just not enough time. You're going to lose rounds pretty consistently if you wait that long. So, three to one in favor of Viso. Havoc is eight and two, Matt. Four rounds gone. Oh, he was a freak in SD at season three relegation. Expect him to have a pretty good season three in general. Look at this strap by ISO. They're going to wait, try and catch Optic being a little bit over aggressive. Now you're going to start to see the push over towards A. Surprised to see Lama go throw a grenade out there. If you kind of play that slow, like delayed push, you expect players from Optic to kind of rotate out. But as soon as you throw that grenade, it's like a massive alert. Basically, you put a slime on the screen saying, hey, by the way, we are pushing A. We just wanted to delay it a little bit. Looking at Lamagod. Krim was able to jump in, pick up a kill, and uh, get out with his life. So, I stuck this round for up to him. Yep, they're going to pick up another kill as well. So, it's going to be a 4v2 in favor of OG. Make it a 4v1. Not going to happen right there. It's going to be Opti Gaming trying to climb back. And this one going to take this next round. See what they decide to do on offense, though, Ben. That they can't get caught waiting too long to make an offensive push. They gotta go quick with something. Maybe a fast B push? It's possible. Just try and try and hit it as quickly as you possibly could. You haven't seen that out of them yet. Yeah, so far every round really has been uh, somewhat slow. We'll see if they're able to make anything else happen. I'm so I, I wanna watch Havoc though. At eight and three, he's just making so many plays. But no, Optic happy to go over towards A Matt. Taking that time. Let's see if they're just gonna sit here yet again now. See how they decide to play this. Krim saving his nades. Maybe they double back and then try and get out, but Krim actually gonna go for the plant right away. So gonna try and get Bob down. He's gonna get it. Yep, he's gonna get it. I think ISO just kinda play in that safe. They don't know if he was actually gonna go for the plant or maybe come back out. Krim gonna toss some nades over, see if he can hit anybody with him. He's gonna get one. <gasps> Kobe! Big first blood out of Krim though. Dito gonna answer right away on a kill with Kara. Oh, Krim looking to trade a kill. Not able to do so. And everyone just dropped. Despite Krim getting bombed down and getting first blood with the grenade. Iso retake that bomb site perfectly. Yeah, perfect. I mean, no, Dito picks up that kill on Karma to even up the odds. And then once that happens, you know, the players on Iso just kind of blood off the gaming. They you usually don't see a lot of teams just challenge gunfights against off the gaming. And the guys on ISO just flood it right away, able to win all those engagements. And now ISO can really put the pressure on and they win this one, Ben. This would be insane if they were able to come out and win this next round. 5 2 lead and search and destroy, then heading over to uplink. It's basically pressure on Optic. If they make a mistake, the series is over, they get the first loss of season three. From that, with first blood. Lethal immediately shuts him down. So does get stunned though. Uh, and immediately challenged. Nice, smart play from Karma. As he pushes in. Leith, uh, sorry, Lama God's gonna go down. That leaves Dito for the 1v3. And he just uh, watched someone dolphin dive across his bait. Dito didn't really know who to look at. And he's gonna drop down. Yep. This, get... is, this is gonna be a hilarious kill count. You Watch think so? It. Yeah, yeah. Because you're gonna see someone just dolphin dive across. What is this? Oh, please tell me Formal sees it. Oh, he doesn't see it. No. Common's dancing is pure bait. Well, Formal shot. He's just not going to miss. <laughs> formal. Then nice shot there. All the way through mid bio. Does ISO win this map? This this map. You know, I want to see what Optic decides to do on offense yet again. Are they going to go back to A? Is that way? They're very happy with it. Hasn't really been working out. Too well, ISO's well. going to push this pretty hard, it looks like, right off the rip. So. Should have some gun engagements right off the start. It's going to be Krim picking up first blood on Lama God. Two players, though, still underneath four ISO. Silly, he's going to get dropped. So Optic looks like they're just going to push all the way through. Maybe try and bring this over to B. Oh, a little bit risky, but it's going to pay off. Havoc, 1v4. He's been playing well, but don't hold your breath, folks. This is pretty much impossible. I said pretty much, bear that in mind. I didn't say actually impossible. Nearly made it a 1v2. Sadly, not able to do so. 
So, map tied now at 2 2. Well, see the final kill oh, two, two, Yeah, right? no, it's not tied as 2 2. Like, when getting, you said that, I sat here. I was like, um, <laughs> you know something it's I don't? Getting, it's, yeah, getting it's, not, it's getting late. It's getting late, Yeah, it's not tied at 2 2. It's actually going to be 4 4, four Ben. I, yeah, fine. Numbers, man. Who needs numbers? It's a tie game, regardless. It's a yeah, tie game. So you need to know. It's going to be ISO on offense. Let's see how they decide to play this. I feel like Havoc just needs help. 11 and I mean, 6. It's easy to say. I mean, he plays so aggressive. He's been picking up kills left and right. He's gonna jump out, challenge He's out dead. of purple. Does he have a teammate behind him? And it looks like they're gonna push straight out. Not the wisest move there. Dito was kind of forced to push out though. I mean, once Havoc jumps out there, challenges. I mean, the rest of the team kind of has to fight these gunfights. Alam got last one alive. He's so be pretty ridiculous if you're able to win this. He's gonna get one. We saw most apathy clutch something like this earlier. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Nope. I feel like they basically just gifted that. They put it on a plate and gave it up to gaming right there. There was a very unnecessary push. Bomb was going down. You didn't need to do anything flashy. And as you said, as soon as the first player went down, Dito was kind of forced to jump out. Really wanted to try and trade that, but fortunately unable to do so. They'll have to go 5 4 up now. Well, this is kind of what Optic wanted with giving them the first two maps. They steal the SMD. Yeah. They take, well, not even the SMD. Even if they took the hard point. Mm. Nope. And go back to three and four on your own host and probably end it there. So again, Optic more than happy to push A. Scump, first blood on Llama God. Nade's gonna fly across from Crimp. He's gonna spot someone. He just kind of pre-fight ha Havoc as well. He knew exactly where he was gonna be. 2v4, 1v4 for Dito. He's able to pick up Crimp. But he's gonna know where he is though. And he should be dead any second now. There it is. Yep. He falls. Optic tie up the series at one map apiece. Nicely played from them. And of course, the next two maps, of course, on Optic Gaming's host. I bet you it'll be Scump's host. No formals host banned for this one. So, bet we'll see a Scump host. Krim going to finish 13 and 7. Nope. Yep. Big plays out of everybody for Optic, though. Krim with a bunch of first bloods, some nice nades. On the offensive side of thing, I thought ISO kind of gave that one away, though. Oh, no, they, they definitely did. That second to last round was a little bit reckless. And they're going to pay the price for that. Yep. Now, of course, uh, we're going to head to a quick commercial break. When we return, though, we're heading to come back up like